Good morning or good afternoon, wherever you may be, or good evening or good night. This is Jen at Jen's Arty Inclinations, a place to create, share and play. Hello and welcome to everyone and all my new subscribers. I can't believe it. I'm actually now over 100 subscribers. I, I'm so grateful to everyone and I'd like to say thank you to every single person. Thank you. Estelle Paper Co. is where I got that beautiful little house sticker from. But here I'm just showing you some tags that I did. And I love the look of them. I love the result. But they're all quite thin. And so the other tag shapes that I cut out, I thought, well, I'll have a look at putting some recycled packaging on the back and see if I can kind of match it up afterwards. As you can see, we like jets in our house apparently. <laughs> so that's just the side of a box and I'm shaping the top to match up the same. And I wasn't quite sure if it worked. I mean, I don't know why I doubted it, but it seemed to work and they cut down beautifully and I didn't even need to cut the sides. They were about the same size. So that was even easier. So nothing exciting here, just cutting up the shapes. And I thought about whether I'd need to sand them because they were all quite shiny or what I'd need to do. You know, I wasn't completely sure. Oh, there you go. Just for variety, there was a popcorn box. So here, that Atlas paper, it was quite thick. And I thought, oh, maybe that's okay on its own. But as you can see there from how I just showed you when I bent it, it still didn't feel solid enough to me. And I wanted some solid feeling tags. So I thought I'd enclose a bit of cardboard on that because I liked the idea of just a simple double-sided tag. I don't know. I, I wasn't really thinking there was no planning or anything on this. It was just something I felt like doing on the weekend. And I did it on the weekend, which is why I'm doing the voiceover now, because it's always way too noisy with everybody in the house. <laughs> I'm sure some of you know what that's like. Anyway, it was really quite easy. I just snipped them down. So normally this is a lot easier if you actually punch out both at the same time. But yeah, you can add them after. Who knew? Well, I guess I knew because whenever I make a mistake, I always learn something new and I make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> All right. So rather than go through the whole sanding them down to make sure that they had a bit of a rougher purchase, all I did was I just used some of that fabric kind of glue or the 540, you know, that special silicon kind of glue, that clear stuff. I think you know what I mean. Anyway, it was good. I didn't put writing paper on the back of these. I thought I'd just leave them and I tried not to embellish them too much. Now here you see I'm being very naughty. I've had to use some stays on cleaner, which is a stamp cleaner, to clean off my little dobber because on my brand new ink pad, I put it in and I mix the colours and I'm really bad at doing that. But now I'm getting some more colours. I'm going to have to be a lot more careful. So we'll see how that works out. So I love my new pink. That one is Spun Sugar. It's just the Distress Ink. And this, I thought, just adding a little edge. This one is the Frayed Burlap. Again, a Distress Ink. And I didn't feel like making little circle reinforcers again this time, so I just used the ink dobber rather than add the little circles with the punch outs like I did before. Now here, I'm putting through some string. In actual fact, this is home dyed string. This is just the stuff you get from the $2 shop. And all I did was just put it in some turmeric and hot water and I just let it sit for a bit and it actually coloured almost instantly. This is one of my favourite knots to end off string. It's just the barrel knot. So you wrap it around three times, just like you saw. And if you have a look, it looks like a little barrel. See how it's got the three little lines across there. I really think it's beautiful. So I decided on this little map one, you know, just to give it a little special knot. I'm actually a fibre artist. That's where my original calling is, is in macrame and fibre and all those sorts of things. So I love any opportunity to use a knot in my projects. And then I decided it'd be really cute just to fray the edges. Now, if you want your edges just slightly more fluffy or straighter, see how I quite liked the tangled, twisted kind of look for this particular one. But if you want them fluffy and straight, all you do is you just spritz them with water, just mist them with water and then get a little comb, just a normal hair comb and brush them like just a fine tooth comb and you'll find that then they get nice and straight. 
oh, check out this. I finally, I had all these little words cut out from the top of a dictionary. That was something that a little tip I got from Pam at the Paper Outpost and I thought it was so cool to use the little words at the top of dictionary pages and I had these paper bag strips from a paper bag book that I'd made and I just decided to glue them all along there. It was the perfect size and then I can just tear them off as I need them. How cute! (laughs) So they're sort of, I'm trying to get a few more things you know, ready-made so that I can just sit and enjoy the creating. And sometimes we don't want to do a whole project from beginning to end. We just want to do little bits and pieces. So that was what I did with these. Now here, just for something different, I'm inking the edges. You all know how much I love to ink my edges. So that's all three, one, two, three. And then I thought, yep, why not? We'll just add a word, connection. I feel like that's such a special word. It's such a big thing in our house because I'm always on about how people need connection and obviously the kids at school, you know, they need connection with each other. That was a little cluster that I put in that I thought was just kind of worked. I didn't want to overwork these too much because let's say I'm doing a journal which has a lot of floral on the page or I want to add a pop of colour. I can still do that to these. They're still plain enough that I can add something. Here I'm just doing a simple overhand knot. So I'm sure everybody has seen these before. The official name is an overhand knot. I'm sure there are other names as well. Yeah, so I just went through and looked at words. I think I chose music and read here. Didn't want to overthink it, just wanted to ink the edges just to sort of make it, you know, feel like it sat in there. That music paper, I really like. It's just got a slight bit of ageing to it as well. It's some orchestral piece. Might have been Brahms. No, that doesn't sound right. I finally got some of those spray ink thing in me bulbs. <laughs> What's in my doobits? This one's coffee espresso, and then I used peacock feathers I think it's called that's the blue one there and then I used um the twigs one tattered twigs twine twigs okay not really being very descriptive there but anyway different colored inks and then that use the tags to kind of mop that up to get that nice weathered well-loved feel on them Then I decided on the next little pieces of string I was going to put in, I'd do the knots first. And you'll see, gosh, I almost didn't get them through. I did them so short. (laughs) I did them almost in the middle of the string. But that still worked out cute. So it's amazing how accidents teach you so many other things. I love how that happens. Uh, The last one, I just did simple overhead knots, but I still tied them pretty short. But again, you know, it all worked out. So these were my four little tags. And I'm sorry about the lighting in this. I do have some new lights now, but um, yeah, well, you know, they broke and I'm not very good at setting up my lights anyway. But they're the little finished results, as you can see. So I'll bring in the other ones again. There's my uh, glue stick. Obviously, we need a glue stick in my hand for security. Doesn't everybody? So (laughs) these are the first ones I did. As you can see, they all look a little bit different. Some have Though all the last ones have the little flex. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed. You can like and subscribe below. And as always, keep creating. See you next time. Bye.